Steal this video, repost, thumb up, comment, favorite, Facebook and Twitter share, react and help this message go viral. Liberty and freedom now. Right, but we're going to begin with the Republican campaign for the White House and the pressing question. How do you know if you've had too many debates? Saturday night's 3,000th Republican debate was an hour and a half. But CBS only aired one hour of it so that they could still bring you, the viewer, a fresh NCIS <laughs> rerun. Why? Because CBS wanted people to learn something about how the government can work. But the first hour still provided an opportunity to follow some compelling storylines. Would Newt Gingrich's recent poll surge continue? Does me saying poll surge make you think of Herman Cain? The mainstream media's plan is to push Newt Gingrich to the public. All their other plans have failed. Realize this. Don't be manipulated. Google Ron Paul. And if you, if you bet Ron Paul and the over, and the over was 90 seconds of speaking time, would you lose that bet? The answer, yes, yes, and... and EPA. What the hell is going on? Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. I mean, you sort of assume maybe some of this was happening because I think like 90 seconds was about the amount of time that the, the Ron Paul camp had to respond also in talks. There's not a lot of time for these guys. We have a top tier. It is Mitt Romney, Rick Perry, and Michelle Bachman. We have a new top tier, and it's Perry, Mitt Romney, and Bachman. There's now a top tier, so at least for now, of Romney, Perry, and Bachman. Paul. Romney leads New Hampshire, Huntsman third, Perry fourth. Now, do they know how to count? <laughs> why would they omit saying who was in second? Well, you know why? Ron Paul. What about Ron Paul? He only spoke a total of 89 seconds in last night's debate. So why give him short trip? He polls very well. He usually wins, you know, most of the straw polls, or he goes, he's very high on the straw polls. So what gives you? He only spoke for 89 seconds. You know, I'm not really sure what's to give, actually, why he hasn't had an opportunity to really speak during these debates more than he has. Um, you're right. He's shown to be really in touch with the voters. They seem to really like some of his views, and it shows whenever the straw polls are being held. Hey, look. The electorate is undecided. We should all get the same number of questions. A new Gallup survey showing Rick Perry running second to Mitt Romney, knocking down Iowa favorite Michelle Bachman to fourth. Behind who? How did Libertarian Ron Paul become the 13th floor in a hotel? But, but is there a media bias against him? Just from the media's point of view, isn't he good for the media because he challenges Republican orthodoxy and causes debate and generates and stimulates the discussion about ideas that the other Republicans don't want to talk about? Well, that's right. It's because he is such an extraordinary candidate that the mainstream media doesn't pay attention. Every time Ron Paul comes out, attracts huge crowds, gets numbers that are sufficient in the polls to say this could be your Republican nominee. The mainstream media that refuse to acknowledge, it's like he's standing in front of them and they say, I don't believe it. Don't believe it. I, I'm going to rub my eyes and see if I can. Oh, he's still there. Yeah. The key issue is the economy. Right. No one has been stronger on what has caused these problems. No one has been more consistent. No one has done more to bring the Federal Reserve and money printing and central planning of economic activity into focus than Ron Paul. This is all Ron Paul. This is all Ron Paul. Steal this video, repost, thumb up, comment, favorite, Facebook and Twitter share, react and help this message go viral. Liberty and freedom now.